Blessings, people of God. Welcome, welcome. Hallelujah. This is a day that the Lord has made. I'm so happy to see all of you. I've missed you. I love you. I'm so glad that you're joining in. You're tapping in to the glory of God. Amen. I want you to give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall because today's word, today's prophetic word of the month for this month of August is going to be power packed and it's going to be scrumdedly umptious. It's going to be filled with so much word, rhema, revelation. Let me tell you, this is going to be a phenomenal, powerful month, this month of August. I declare and I decree over you that this month of August, it is a month of opportunities and mantles. Someone say amen. And I'm going to talk about uh, why I believe this is a prophetic decree, the proper prophetic title to prophesy over this month. And we're going to get into that in a little bit. But I believe August, this upcoming month, it is a month of opportunities and mantles. If you believe it, say amen. Give us some hearts and likes. Let me know where you are watching from. Share this on your wall because let me tell you, it's going to be power packed. It's going to be powerful. Can I get an amen? So let me know where you are watching from, people of God. I'm so excited to have you, to see you. I can feel the power of the Lord already. Let me tell you, God is good. Amen. So let me know where you are watching from, people of God, so I could give you some shout outs, so I could say hello. Jada brota tererosa tabata. Give us some hearts and likes. I had a wonderful time in Hawaii, of course. Two weeks. Uh, had some vacation time. And also, uh, we had a powerful, wonderful conference there with Prophet Charlie and Bryn Shamp. And again, you could watch the replay. If you want to watch the replay, you could go and register for that at benlimglobal.com. Amen. Benlimglobal.com. Well, I'm super excited. Uh, before I go into the word here, uh, I want to just talk real quickly uh, about our upcoming webinar. Excuse me, Mr. Lord, our upcoming webinar, which is uh, and actually in about one week. We're not doing the next Monday, but in one week, August 8th, 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 double 8th. Okay, on double 8th, August 8th is our next webinar. It's free. I want to talk about the favor of God. I believe we need to be equipped in the glory, and we also need to walk in the favor of God because you can't do anything without his favor. His favor causes you to break through things, to do things that was impossible or difficult to do. So I believe you and I, we need to understand the favor of God, the grace of God, the power of God. How do we grow the favor of God on our lives? Can I get an amen? So go ahead and, and watch this. And register for it because it's going to be powerful. And like I said, it is free. F-R-E-E. -E. You can register at BenlamGlobal.com. And we cannot wait to see you for that webinar. Amen. Praise God. Let me know where you are watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. And let me give you a shout out. Please share this on your wall. Because this word is going to bless you. And you do not want to miss what God is saying for this month because this is a very critical month every month is critical but let me tell you this is a climactic month amen so let me give some uh shout outs here let me know where you were watching from praise god hello there kashika <clears throat> hallelujah yes comment below where you are watching from praise god where you are watching from what city what state what country you are watching from May you be an ambassador of your name. Dusty, bless you. We missed you this week for 7M. We can't wait to see you in Colorado. Joanne Moore from Virginia. Melissa from Riverside. Ellie from Los Angeles. Amen. Rebecca from Texas. Sue Sanchez, God bless you from Crestline. Colleen from High River, Alberta, Canada. Blessings to you. Oh, yes. Mopo Notombe from Pretoria. God bless you. Melissa Toba from Riverside. Zavarandurushkarabranda. Pastor Sharon, God bless you from Hollywood. Uh -huh. Providence Ivana from downtown Los Angeles. <laughs> Alana from America. Which America? North or South America? Or Central America? 
Juan Martinez from Dallas. Kendall Watcher from Arizona. Rochelle from Kentucky. D. Cayetaneto from Oklahoma. Hallelujah. And Nicole from Arizona. Somebody say hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. J.C. Jason, good to see you. I was just thinking about you. <clears throat> Gloria Estrada from California. Cecilia from Lone Fontaine, South Africa. Botswana in the house, South Korea. Oh, what a blessing. Rachel, bless you. Neola Mafani from Cape Town. Look at that. Our South African family is representing strong today. Praise the Lord. Help me to get the viewership up, people of God. Give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall because let me declare unto you, this is a month of opportunities and mantles. My goodness, this is a month of opportunities and mantles. And just wait till you hear what the prophet has to say, what the man of God has to say. Because this month of August, <clears throat> not only will it be filled with new beginnings, but it's going to be filled with opportunities. It's going to be filled with mantles. It's going to be filled with recovery. And I want to prophesy this into you for this month of August. Amen. And of course, as I always do in every prophetic word of the month, I like to go into the historical, the Hebraic historical roots of what happened in history and what the Hebraic roots of the Torah. And we also go into scripture and we go into prophetic revelation. Amen. So that's where I pull out the prophetic revelation. We pull it out from the Hebraic roots, from history, from scripture. And then we pull out prophetic revelation. Because when you understand the past, you will understand the future. When you understand history, you will understand destiny. When you understand God's word and God's chosen people, then you will understand what God has planned and purpose. And God is prophesying or predicting. God is announcing, proclaiming unto the future. Can I get amen? So give me some hearts and likes as Pastor Dr. Ben Lynn, one of your favorite prophetic voices. I want to welcome you. I want to say God bless you. And I'm excited for this month. Amen. Give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Let us know where you're watching from. Praise God. So I want to go into this word here. Hallelujah. I want to go into this word. Give us some hearts and likes, people of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Now, first and foremost, I want to talk to you about this month, August. Are you ready to be in awe? Are you ready to be in awe of the Lord? Are you ready for God to show up and show off? We already know August in the Gregorian calendar, it's the eighth month. We already know that eight in Hebrew stands for new beginnings. Amen. Eight in Hebrew also means not of this world. It was on the eighth day after birth. At the, there was the birth and eight days after. That was when the Jewish boys would be circumcised. They would become a sign in their flesh, a sign of covenant in their body. Their body literally was circumcised, which stood for the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, I am a sign. Somebody say, I am marked. So on the eighth day, the Jewish boys would be circumcised as a sign and a wonder unto the Lord. And they would walk around uh, and they would live their life as a sign of wonder, but it was on the eighth day. So it is the eighth month. So in this month, God is causing you to be a new creation. God is causing you to be a sign and a wonder. God is causing you to step into new beginnings. Can I get an amen? He's cutting off the old, the dross, the fake, the fabricated, the faulty. He's cutting it off and he's saying, you belong to me. You are my sign. So this is a month of signs and wonders. This is a month of new beginnings. 
this is a month where you're going to be marked to someone to amen. Now, in the original word, this month of August is actually Manakan Av. In the Hebrew calendar, this is the month of Manakan Av. Someone say Manakan Av. Now, Manachem means counselor and covering. Manachem means counselor, comforter, and covering. This is why I believe in this month. Not only will God expose, but God is going to cover. God is going to comfort. God is going to counsel. Amen. Have you been broken? Have you been feeling weary? Are you mourning? In your soul. Well, God is the comforter. The Holy Ghost, the Parakletos, the Ruach Kadesh. He is the one who comforts, who covers, and who counsels. Amen. But in this month, this month is known as Manakam Av. Isn't that interesting? This month is known as Manakam Av. And of course, Av in Hebrew is Abba or Avi. Abi. Oh my goodness. This month means the, the it's the month of the father. August, this month is the month of the father. Let me tell you when the father comes, there's always blessings. The Bible says, uh, from above, we have received gifts from above. So the father never comes empty-handed. The father is filled with gifts. He's generous. He's a generous man. He's a man of generosity. He's a man of graciousness. So the Father comes with gifts and blessings from above. Every good and perfect gift is from above. So this is the month of the Father. Manakam Av. August is the month of Manakam Av. August is the month where the Father is going to release a covering, a counseling, and comfort over you. If you believe it, someone say amen. And that is why I believe in this month, there's going to be new mantles. And hear me now. This is just the introduction. This is just the beginning of our sermon, our message today, of the prophetic word. But let me tell you, in this month of August, of Manakam Av, many of you are going to experience a new covering. The wing of the Lord, the wing of angels, the mantle, the uh, ephod, the talit, the prayer shawl of God coming over you. In this month, you're going to, experience a greater stretching of the tent peg, a greater stretching of the covering of the habitat, habitation of God, of the mantle of the Lord. Stretch out your tent pegs. In this month, you're going to experience the greater covering of the Father from above because of what's about to take place in this month and beyond. Can I get an amen? Now, people of God, I know we're talking about the prophetic word of, of August, Menachem Av. But I want to tell you, we're two months away. My goodness. We are two months away from the new Hebrew year, 5783. And in the next month or so, in the coming weeks, you'll be hearing me more talk about preparation for 5783 and 2023. My goodness. I'm praying into the word of the Lord for 5783 and 2023, all I know is that it's going to be a year of Psalm 23, of divine direction. God is going to lead you out of the valley of the shadow of death. But I'm still praying into the word that God has for 5783 and 2023. But this month of August, a month of new beginnings, a month of Menachem Av, a month of of mantles and covering. This is a very important, crucial month. And we're going to get into the reasons why. Can I get an amen? So let me know where you are watching from. Give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Tag somebody because we're about to get into the meat of this word. Isn't it interesting and incredible that a month can be named the Father? But even in the month of the Father, this month of Av or Avi, this is the month of the lowest point in Israel's history. The lowest point. I want to ask you this question. 
have you experienced your lowest point? When was the last time you experienced your lowest point? What was the lowest point in your life? What was the lowest point in your life? My lowest point was, and honestly, it's it's my lowest point was when I was addicted to drugs. I was gangbanging, drug dealing in the world, and I gave my life to Jesus. I was an unbeliever. I was a heathen. I was filled with different type of spirits. But I gave my life to the Lord. That was my lowest point in my life. And although the Lord takes us higher from glory to glory, in different seasons, there are also low points or valleys or cave seasons. But Israel's lowest point in their whole history is known as a day as Tishba'av. Some say Tishba'av. And it's actually August 6th to August 7th. This is an open window. This is an open portal. And the reason why Tishba'av, August 6th, August 7th, is known as the lowest point, the darkest point, the darkest time in Israel's history is because on that day, both of the temples were destroyed. The temple was destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar. And years later, again, it was destroyed in the days of Herod. So in this day of Tishba Av, which is called the ninth of Av, it's the lowest point, the most hellish moment, hellish season for all of the Jewish nation. My goodness. The temples were destroyed. Hallelujah. The temples were destroyed. And even in this season, they were taken into exile, into Babylon, forced to worship pigs and other idols and, and do things that were against their will and are against their notion. My goodness. So in this season, many people are going to experience a low point. And I'm not prophesying judgment or spewing evil, but hear me now. Many of you right now, you know this to be true. Many of you right now are going through a great transition. Many of you are going through a great shift. Many of you watching right now are going through such a release from the old, such a release. It's like you've gone through the most hellish, demonic time of warfare. But now you're coming out of that cave. You're coming out of that low point. You're coming out of that dark season. Amen. And even in America, even in the United States, we're seeing so much nonsense, phony baloney, Joe Biden atrocity. We're seeing these things, and it's going to be worse. It's going to become darker darker, even before it gets brighter and brighter. Many of you watching right now understand the difficulty of finances right now, the increase of inflation of gas prices. Shout out the fear of the left, the fear of demons that are trying to incite and inflict fear. But you see, even in the midst of the lowest point, hear me now, people of God, you're about to go high. Your lowest point will become your highest point. Praise God. Your lowest point will become your highest point. And that's why I am declaring unto you, this is a month of opportunities. Get ready for Manakam Ah, the Father, to come down from heaven, to bless you, to promote you, to raise you, to keep you. Get ready for the Father to cover you in this month. Can I get an amen? When the devil tries to close a door against you, God will open up many more doors. And in this month of August, God is opening up doors and God is opening up opportunities. Hallelujah. Mantles are being passed on. Things are being transferred. Things are being shifted. Hallelujah. In this month, things are being released to you. Amen. So your lowest point will become your highest point. But what opened up the door for Tishba'av? Because you see, there's always a repeated cycle. And today, I break the cycle. Today, I destroy the cycle of sin. 
of curse, of witchcraft, trauma in your life. I destroy that cycle in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, what started the cycle of Tishba'ah? Well, what happened, people of God, was that on that day, the spies were sent out to the promised land to spy on the land. And when they returned, they were in fear. And when they returned, they rejected the word of God. And so that fear opened up the door. That fear, that disobedience opened up the door for Tishbaal and for the cycle of destruction, this cycle of death, this cycle of aborting the call, aborting the mission, this cycle of trading in your inheritance for a bowl of soup. That is when the cycle began. But you see, God wants to expose what went wrong so you and I can have the upper hand, so that you and I can have the gaining hand, so that we will not repeat the same mistakes of the past but that we will step into the spirit realm and we will be the opposite. Someone say opposite. We will be the opposite. We will step into the problem. Come on. This is not a time of opposition. It's a time of opportunity. Many people think that in this recession, in these difficult times, we need to shrink back. Of course, the WHO, the big ho, the big who, who the heck are you? You devil. Of course, they they try to declare an uh, international state of emergency about monkeypox. And even San Francisco, I believe, just got locked down recently again. These phony baloney monkeys, who the heck do they think they're fooling? But you see, a lot of people think this is a time to shrink back. It's a time to go into hiding. It's a time to to sure about to not go to church to forsake the assembly of the brethren but no it's not it's time to advance forward it's a time for opportunity it's a time for kairos moments can i get an amen so in this month although there's tishba off where the spies rejected the word of the lord rejected their inheritance rejected their future promise, rejected the promised land out of fear, you and I will step in and advance and grab the bull by the horns. We're going to be bullish, not be a bear. We're going to be bullish, moving the ox anointing, the apostolic plowing mantle, and we're going to take ground in Jesus' name. If you believe it, say amen, and give us some hearts and likes. Praise God. In this month of August, there will be an ox anointing. There will be an apostolic anointing. In this month of August, you are going to plow and pioneer through where many are just being passive and being cowardice. So this month of Manakan of, of August, this month is the lowest point in israel's history my goodness but your low point will become a high point your lowest point will become your highest point can i get an amen god is going to take you low to high from below to above from the bottom to the top the lord is going to raise you up in jesus name someone to amen now what's interesting it's almost like Two polarities. If you're following me to the humans of hearts and likes, and if you're believing and receiving, if you're enjoying this word, I want you to just share this on your wall. The interesting thing is, you have Tishbaav, and one week later is literally known as one of the greatest festivals in the Jewish calendar. One week after Tishbaf, someone said one week. Come on, somebody. One week after the lowest point. One week after the ninth of Av, Tishbaf. One week after the destruction of the temple. After going into exile. 
one week of aborting the call, one week, there was an opportune window that came up. My goodness. And this feast festival is known as the, one of the greatest, most important feast festivals in the Jewish calendar. It's known as Tuba'av. Someone say Tuba'av. And Tuba'av literally means the 15th of Av. This is the Jewish Valentine's Day. Come on, somebody. This is the Jewish Valentine's Day. It's said on the 15th of Av, or Tuba Av, in this day, the daughters of Jerusalem, who were not married, the single ladies, all the single ladies, would go out and dance in the vineyards. Come on, somebody, new beginnings. They would go out and dance in the vineyards. And then the men would come and would find himself a bride. Isn't that interesting? Dual polarities. The lowest point in Israel's history. Tishba, the night of Av. But one week later, some say one week later, is the highest point. Marriage, betrothal, where the father, Menachem Av, where the father is bringing the bride together. The father is bringing his children together. Come on, somebody. Even out of hell, even out of the wilderness, even out of destruction, even out of poverty. The father is moving things around for your blessing, for your benefit. And God says new beginnings, new life, new love, new marriages, new vineyards, new fruit. My goodness. Somebody shout hallelujah. So expect this opportune favor. Expect this blessing, this breakthrough, even one week after your lowest point. Now, I don't know what you're going through in your life, but I declare even one week later, it will be your highest point. You'll go from low to high, from bottom to the top, from below to above, from the tail to the head. You are going to be the head only in Jesus' name. So in this month, where it's the lowest, it's also going to be the highest. I declare August will be the highest point for you in Jesus' name. I declare the month of August, where there's so much transition and new beginnings, and there's even destruction. I declare in this month, you will find love. You will find hope. You will find Jesus in this month. You will find yourself in him. Someone say amen. Hallelujah. Someone say Menachem Av. Thank you, Lord. This is going to be a month of the Ots anointing where God is releasing opportunities and he's releasing new mantles. Who wants to receive the Ots anointing? To plow through the hatred, the difficulty, the warfare, the slander. To plow through the flesh. To plow. This is that month. Someone said new beginnings. Thank you, Lord. I want you to just pray in the Holy Ghost before I move any further. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Healing and restoration, Lord. Blessings and breakthrough, Father. Thank you, Lord. Shara brata ta da da. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah.
Dreams are coming to pass. Visions are coming to pass. I see scrolls coming into your hands. God is giving you new blueprints, new ideas, new scrolls. God is giving you new mantles for breakthrough. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. If you receive it, say amen. Samarata. <clears throat> so the disciples come before Jesus and they say, <laughs> And they say, Rabbi, it took so many years for the temple to be rebuilt. And you're saying, you're going to destroy it and rebuild it in three days. Who's ready for resurrection power? This is a month of new beginnings and new creations. Some say, Amen. This is a month of Menachem of. And in this month, in this season, your lowest point will become your highest point. You're about to skyrocket. You're about to shoot up and shoot out. Someone to amen. So I want to give you the three prophetic points. Three prophetic points for this month. In the month of August. If you're with me today, say amen. My goodness, I feel the Holy Ghost. I could barely even preach, barely even talk. But if you're with me today, say amen and give us some hearts and likes. The first prophetic point, point number one that you can expect in this month is a new covering. Someone say new covering. In this month of August, even as Manakam of, Manakam means covering, counselor, comforter. I believe in this month, there's going to be a new covering, a new mantle. There's going to be a new overlapping, a new grace over your life. There's going to be new footwear, new outerwear. There's going to be new wear, new mantle, new clothes, new garbs, new garments. There's going to be a new covering in this month. And God is going to cover you from every attack. God is going to cover you. From every foul, wicked, evil, trap, ensnarement of the enemy. I see the Lord just protecting you right now. Amen. I see the Lord protecting you right now. And he's removing the barriers. His angels have gone before you to remove the barriers. The plans of the enemy will be exposed now in Jesus' name. It will be exposed and be shattered and scattered and come to nothing, says God. Hallelujah. So number one, new cover. You're going to step into a new cover. You're going to step into a new realm, a new mantle. And you're going to be protected even in, in midst of destruction and death. Number two, the second prophetic point you can expect in this month is full recovery. Someone say full recovery. In this month, your lowest will become your highest. And is it interesting? Once again, Tishba Av, which is the lowest. One week later, Tuba Av. One week later, Tuba Av. One week later, Tuba Av. One week later is the highest point where love and marriage and destiny, the betrothal of Jesus, comes forth. My goodness. <laughs> so expect a full recovery. I hear the Lord saying many of you are coming into a full circle or you have come into a full circle. And now you're about to step into a new circle or a new cycle. It's called full recovery. I hear the Lord saying over many right now, 
expect full recovery from your lowest point, your lowest financial point, emotional point. You were depleted in your mind. You wanted to give up. You wanted to throw in the towel. You wanted to just say enough is I'm done. Well, guess what? It's a month of new beginnings. It's a month of full recovery. My goodness. And I declare and I decree that America will receive her full recovery this month. Watch what I will do this month, says God. In this month of August, I am going to shift and shake and expose many things, says God. For in this month of August, wow, hear me now. The Lord says you will recover more ground. Even on the political scene, you will recover more people. I hear God saying in this month, hear me now, my goodness, there's going to be returning of people. I see people returning to the good side. I see people returning to you. So in this month, there's going to be a full recovery. And you're going to recover lost and stolen grounds. Even in the political spectrum, we will recover more grounds, says God. I see God covering more grounds. Jesus. We're about to take back grounds. Some say recover. Hallelujah. My goodness. I feel the Holy Ghost. Y'all need to pray that I finish this word. I literally feel like I'm in the spirit right now, you know. Thank you. Just pray to him right now. Thank the Lord. Before I release the third prophetic point, as the word of the Lord was spoken, thank the Lord for that word. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you're with me today, give some hearts and likes. And share this on your wall. And the third prophetic point I want to declare and prophesy into you in over a month, the month of August. Number one, new coverings. God is going to cover you, protect you. It's going to be new mantles, new opportunities. Number two, full recovery. You're going to recover things that were taken, lost, stolen. You're going to recover lost ground. You're going to take back. There's going to be a full circle and a new circle. And a third prophetic point for this month is climactic moments. What does that mean? That means there's a climax. That means that this month the Father is going to bring you high into a climax. It's going to be filled with climactic moments. I believe right now, many, many to kill a parson. Many, many to kill a parson. The writing is on the wall. The finger of God is against Joe Biden. The finger of God is against CERN. The finger of God is against these corrupt politicians. Many, many to kill a parson. So in this month of climactic moments, hear me now. You know, they worship the temple. Why was the temple destroyed? Because they idolized the temple rather than worshiping God. The temple became a cesspool of pharisaical, legalistic, religious debauchery, demonic activity. So therefore, because they 
did not fear God, but they feared the religious system in the temple. Therefore, it was defeated, destroyed, and broken. Hear me now. The Lord is saying that in this month, I'm going to destroy different systems that are against me. Different systems, organizations, parties that are against me. In this month of August, Menachem Off, of opportunities and mantles, of the ox anointing. In this month, the Lord of hosts is going to bring us into climactic moments. Many men tell a person, the writing is on the wall. Who's ready for a climax? A Jezebel and Elijah showdown of Mount Carmel. Thank you, Lord. Everything about you is changing. This month, the Father is stepping in and the Father is stepping down. And in this month, the Father is going to show up and show off. I declare it's a month of opportunities. Not shrinking back, but advancing and stepping in and up. You're going to experience acceleration. You're going to experience the power and the strength of God in this month. Thank you, Lord. I want everybody to just lift up your hands, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost where you're watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see angels ascending and descending. New angels are being assigned to you. New angels are coming to you. In this month of Tishba'ah, as the plans of the enemy was exposed. So God will expose the plots of your enemies in this month. My life be lifted high and my love be lifted high and thou world be lifted high. In this month of August, get ready for awesome moments, awesome climactic moments. My goodness, get ready for the awe of God. Get ready for the awe of Jesus. The awe of heaven. If you receive it, lift up your hand, say amen, say I receive it. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I hear the Lord saying, I am destroying many things that were in the flesh. And although it's painful to see these earthly systems destroyed, I am rebuilding my temple. I am rebuilding my people. I am rebuilding my nation, says God. I see doors closing right now. God is closing doors to cycles and circles. God is closing the doors. If you receive this word today, say amen. My goodness. I feel the glory of God so strong. I can barely even talk. Jesus. 
there's a mantle coming. There's a transference of mantles coming. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come on. If you receive this word, say amen. Lift up your hands right now. If you receive this word, the month of the Father, the month of Menachem Av, new covering, full recovery, climactic moments of awesome moments with the Lord. If you receive this today, say amen. Amen, Rena. Get ready for the awesome moments to awe of God. Oh, hey, hey, Zavashka. Oh, hey, I see new mantles coming over you right now. A new covering coming over you right now. A new grace, a new glory coming over you right now. Hey, oh. <clears throat> if you receive it, say amen. New opportunities. Even for Tuba Av, the 15th of Av. If you were single, you were not married. The women, the daughters of Jerusalem would go to the vineyards and the men would find them. Let me tell you, opportunities, new findings, new blessings, new, new locations are going to be found this month. I declare you're going to be discovered this month. This is a month of discovery. This is a month of finding. This is a month of discovery. Someone say hallelujah. Now I want to pray over you people of God. If you want to receive prayer, say pray for me. I want to pray over you right now. But Lord, I release the blessing of God over this month of August. That you would feel the counsel of the Father so close and so strong. God is, re God is building something. The Lord is building something. Your lowest point will become your highest point. Your, you'll go from Tishba'av to Tuba'av. You will go from destruction to marriage. You will go from being exiled to finding and discovering. My goodness. You will go from slavery to destiny. So lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you for this word. Opportunities, mantles. I thank you that you are releasing new covers. Full recovery and climactic moments. Awesome moments with you, even in this moment, Lord. In Jesus' name. If you believe it and you receive it, say amen. God bless you, Cece. Edwin Brissol, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you for Edwin Brissol. I see you, Edwin, in a transition. And although it's your birthday, of course, it's a transitionary day. But I see you in a transition. And God says to you, Edwin Brissot. He says, don't look back. Step in and step out. And I see a great, wow. God has done a great work in you, Edwin. I don't know you. But I see your heart. And God has done a great work in your life, brother Edwin. Where you will bring healing to others. 
You're very smart. You're witty. You're brilliant. Daniel 2, 22. And God is going to use you to bless many people. Thank you, Lord, for Rachel Patrice Lyons. The fact that your Facebook name is different from your real name, it drives me nuts, you know that. But uh, promotion's coming to you, Rachel. A door is opening. A door of opportunity. And you're going to get paid more than you've ever been paid. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Juan Martinez. Thank you, Lord, for Brother Juan. I see God changing your clothes. And he's saying it's time for the upgrade. Because you're stepping into a new season. But you're also stepping in as a new man. So I see you wearing a suit. And you know, Juan, you've been one of my most avid followers on Facebook for years. But I see you, Juan, changing clothes and wearing a suit. Because you're stepping in as a new man. Someone said amen. Wow, isn't this incredible? Nobody wants me to pray for them. That's great. <laughs> I don't see anybody typing in, pray for me. God oh, bless you, Melinda. Thank you, Lord. And that's all right. I don't need to. I already released the prayer and the blessing. <laughs> Some say hallelujah. Melissa Tolbert. Can I ask you, Melissa Tolbert, do you have pain in your body? I just saw like the left side of your body, Melissa. And I'm not sure if you have pain in your neck or your back, hip, legs, but God is going to heal you. And I heard the Lord say, Melissa, you're going to jump higher than ever before. You're going to go further than ever before. You're going to reach heights you've never experienced. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let me know if that word makes sense, Melissa Tolbert. Jesus. Thank you, Melissa Wolf. Pray breakthrough and deliverance of my family. I saw an angel of death leaving your life. And God is releasing an angel of hope, an angel of life over you, Melissa. I rebuke the devourer off of your life, Melissa. Somebody say August is my month of opportunities and mantles. It's a month of the ox anointing. It's a month where you're going to be in awe of God. The Lord bless you, keep you, make his face shine upon you. People of God, I want to remind you to give us some hearts and likes. Subscribe, follow this page if you enjoy this ministry. If you love Dr. Ben Lim, if you love the Lord in me and love this ministry. I'll encourage you, please give us a like, follow, subscribe, even share this on your wall. Because every week we come on with in-depth teaching, prophetic rhema revelation and impartation for your life. Amen. And uh, thank you for being a friend, a follower, a supporter, a fan. And most especially for being a disciple of Jesus. Amen. And I also want to remind you next 
Monday on August 8th, not next Monday, but August 8th, we have our next webinar. It's free. It's on the favor of God. And I'm going to believe that the favor that's on my life will also be released over your life. Because remember, favor is transferable. Favor is imparted. Favor is passed on. So our next free webinar, The Favor of God, is on August 8th. Do join us. Register at BendemGlobal.com. It's free. If you want to grow in the favor of God, tap in. Amen. And also, I want to make notes. In the month of August, I will be in Orlando. At the end of this month of August, I will be in Orlando with the Twin Prophets, Dr. Hakeem and Naeem Collins, and Steve Swanson. It's going to be powerful if you're in the Orlando area. If you're in the surrounding states like Georgia, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, please come down, fly down. I have many surprises, many friends coming for this. It's going to be powerful and one of a kind. Amen. And also, I'm coming to Colorado in the month of uh, in the month of October. It's my first time going to Colorado. It's my first time ministering in Colorado. And uh, so you can register at BendemGlobal.com. But my goodness, if you're in the Colorado area region, please come by and tag on. Amen. And last but not least, I want to remind you, I do have a group mentorship. I believe in mentorship. I believe in discipleship. And I want to mentor you. I want to walk with you. I want to help you grow in your identity, in your calling, in your gifts, and in the supernatural. I would love to mentor you, to pour into you. And in this group mentorship, we do at least two Zooms a month, two private Zooms a month. Number two, you get access to our wonderful group of incredible people in this community. And number three, of course, there's more proximity connection with the man of God. I believe in mentorship. And if you want to grow and go to the next level, you consider joining this group, our 7M Glory Equip. It is powerful. It's wonderful. And it will change your life. Amen. If you want to go to the next level, Join 7M Glory Equip. The people of God is Dr. Pastor Ben Lynn. I hope you enjoyed our broadcast today. Thank you for giving us a like. Thank you for sharing. Make sure you click the bell button on the bottom to be notified whenever I come on live. I want to say thank you. God bless you. Share this on your wall. Tag a friend. Believe in the word of the prophets for this month of August. Opportunities and mantles. Manachem Av. I want you to say, Amen. God bless you, and I'll see you soon.